Hey guys, good morning. I figured I'd give you like a little bit of a physique update since you know I'm on the lean program and see how it goes. So, abs at the moment. I don't do the best genetics with abs, but I guess they're getting in pretty well. Legs. I think my legs get like a lot more shredded and lean compared to my whole body. And y'all know I'm team no bicep. But it's okay. I got some legs and the chest, tricep, so, oh fuck, that's pretty much how I'm looking at the moment and mm, am I satisfied with it? No, I'm not, but it's okay, um, the cut isn't over yet, lean program is just like eight weeks in and um, like Comparing to my first video or like my first photo I took, the progress is pretty amazing. I'll show you after 12 weeks are over, but I'm happy with how the progress is going. I'm getting a lot stronger while like getting even leaner, but first time that happened, so this cut is actually the best cut that I ever had. So do I recommend it till now? Yes, I do. Actually, the big and lean, it also gives a lot more um, than just nutrition and training but that you have to find out for yourself because there are a lot like perks and other things that people that join the big and lean have like um, it's like a community they're building up and that's what beautiful about this that's also why I joined summer shredding challenge um, I'm not in it to win anything it's also always beautiful and great if you win anything but I'm more like creating a community that's also what me and my friend are doing right now, we want to create a community, a movement that people are aware of that living healthy and this fitness, quote unquote, fitness lifestyle is something not impossible, it's sustainable while still doing fun thing with your friends, you know? But this is like a stupid morning rant. We're gonna hit the gym for a leg session, probably, probably I'm the only one who's gonna squat and him not because he has injury on his lower back and you gotta listen to your body when something like that happens so I'm gonna do some squats it's deload day so it doesn't matter that much he's gonna throw in some extra isolations we're gonna see I'm well we're gonna show you how we're gonna do it and a lot of more is coming so if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet press that subscribe button I promise you'll like it time for supreme main yes Huh? It smells off. bad, man. I know, man. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. You got water? <laughs> One for ninety. Ah. Can I also that I film some? Because man, because I, what is that? Because I get better. Can we have more water? Here. Can we have open water, man? This one's. Sour ass fucking free man. Some agua, agua. But it does the work though. It works pretty well. Shit. Shit. Oh. I think the amount of water I had was for like one scoop. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, there's powder on the bottom. Okay, uh, oh. So shake a little bit more. <laughs> we should start to talk English, man. Yeah. I should put a little bit more. Yeah, just a little bit. Like this. Yeah. Put it by there. Close this one. Oh, that. You should drink it slowly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Off to the gym. Hope it kicks in well. We're here in the gym at 9 a.m. Quick leg workout in the morning. Still a deload week. Um, I'm doing full squats, like the program says, but some right. Oh crap. Right there is gonna do some leg presses. Since he has injury on his lower back, and yeah, let's do Sometimes you have to like train through some pains and naggings, but when you really got an injury the last for more than a week, I would advise you just sub like um, the exercise that really uh, really touch your lower back or core just in case it gets worse so 
hopefully over the weekend as a rest day he gets a little bit better and we can go hard at it next week but I'm gonna do some front squats first set as for 66 kg 55% of my wonder at max 10 sets 10 reps let's get it So happy with my squat form, everything's like tight and quite easy. Okay, as you may or may not know, I'm not a big fan of the standing golf races. So just like last time, I'm gonna do them on the leg press and just focus on the squeeze. I'm not going too heavy. Uh, reps are 10. So yeah, it's going pretty well, okay? It's going pretty well, okay? It's going pretty well today, though I'm pretty empty. I'm not like tired or something, but I feel depleted but it's part of the quad, quad. Oh, I can't talk man, yay! It's part of the cut, but gotta do what you gotta do. What I like to do with calf raises are when you go up and you squeeze it, go get pressure on your like big toe and like twist it in. So really like target this part, the bigger part of your calves. Anyway, that was the second superset. I'll show a few more and talk a little bit. guys what is up so I'm kind of dressed up so I'm going to Amsterdam I'm going to be honest that leg workout was not the best one I was kind of like depleted and tired of the cut this whole week and all the exhausted exhausting training sessions but it's all good today I have a sort of refeed day uh, a little bit high carbs and stuff yesterday I ate less on purpose just to today because I'm going out to eat just to stay safe in this cut but uh, I'm probably just gonna show like little clips or pictures of what I'm gonna eat. It's gonna be good. I feel it. The weather is damn nice today. It's about like 13, 14 degrees Celsius and it hasn't been like this sunny in a while. So I'm lucky about that. That's why I'm dressed pretty casually. No jacket or whatsoever. Cannot wait till summer guys. Summer shredding in full effect. Let's do this. By the way, I'm eating uh, ice cream. Mm. I'm probably gonna show some flight show. But I hope you like this. I wish I could vlog a little bit because I'm getting a new camera. Maybe I'm gonna vlog with it. We'll see how it goes. Good morning, guys. So it's like the Monday right now. It's 13th of March, and I went to Amsterdam on Friday. But I'm gonna give like a quick little recap, slide some pictures here, and just some Instagram pictures. But what we what we actually did, I just had a lunch. Which was pretty good, some American pancakes with fruit. So keeping it healthy, getting those nutrients in. And I followed up. I actually searched for some ice cream places. Like, I've been there twice. Well, I've tried to be, be there twice. It's an Instagram post I posted. It's my last Instagram post, so check it out if you want. Like, right here will be the name at Pauly Fitness. But uh, it's called Sillers and has like these ice cream buns which you can put fruity pebbles up and stuff. But first time I went there, I went the wrong way. I walked for about. 45 minutes and couldn't find it. Second time I've been there now. It is closed because it's still winter time. Well, like the sun is out and it's pretty warm already. At really least warm enough for me to eat ice. Fun fact, I'm kind of addicted to ice cream. Put that aside. Um, so we walked around the city a little bit and I got one thing very important. That's what I'm using right now. I'm using the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. That's a mouthful. <clears throat> Sorry about my dry throat. I just woke up. But it seems to be really, like really good vlogging camera, but also for editing because it can edit like a slow mo. Video after this will have a like arm workout in slow mo and edits. I'm just gonna try it out and see how it goes. But the quality is really good and the autofocus is really easy, so it's very user friendly, especially if you're. 
filming on your own or you just don't have that many like experience with cameras so I'm gonna try this out first and I think it can make the channel a lot easier and what I said before in like the last video with this camera with this investment I want to make myself vlog more this Amsterdam trip I didn't vlog because I just got the camera and it barely wasn't uploaded uploaded wasn't like charged so the next time I go somewhere I'm gonna try a vlog I'm gonna take this camera and just talk a little bit show you where I go through and stuff like that um, for dinner I went actually to Korean food and that was so good I had a Korean barbecue and the meats are always like that juicy if you don't overcook it you cook it yourself so it kind of works out if you know how to cook or someone cooks for you plus I really love Korean um, sometimes it's like over seasoned but this time it was really like mild and I like that a lot I didn't like overeat but okay afterwards i went to like a sky lounge in amsterdam which is a very high very high tower with cocktails and ice cream which is pretty expensive but it had a nice atmosphere to it and i had a great time and it's been a while since i actually had alcohol or like a cocktail so kind of switch it up a little bit that's what i call about balance in life i didn't like stuff myself with food um i had lunch which was american pancakes with foods which is very nutrient dense there's milk and eggs and pancakes, so I guess high in protein. That was pretty much my Amsterdam trip. I slide a few shows and I'm gonna end this video like this because I don't wanna talk longer than I'm doing right now. It's already four minutes. But the next video is gonna be great. I hope it's gonna be great. It's an edit of a arm workout with this camera. So I'll see you in the next video. I wanna thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't. Keep smiling, I'm out.